All right, folks, it's Eric from Option Edge again. We're looking at the S&P 500 ETF SPY, um, and I made a quick reel today talking about where I think the uh, the market's gonna go. So if we zoom in um, right here, um, you can see, let's take off the Bollinger Bands real quick, sort of clean this up a bit. So you can see right here, there's two VWAPs. One is the most recent um, low of 348. We um, anchored the VWAP from there. And then we also anchored a VWAP from all the way back. This was COVID lows back in March uh, 2020. So you can see that VWAP is coming into action. And that's a pretty you know, significant um, VWAP. Um, so you can see we've sort of touched uh, here and then bounced back down. I think right, right now we um, are not going to be able to um, get above this. Uh, zone in the meantime. Therefore, I think what, what's going to happen is either we're, we'll sort of you know, fart along here or, you know, we'll see a little bit of uh, downside action, okay? Uh, I want to create a trade that will, you know, profit if the stock moves down. Normally, I do a credit spread, a call credit spread um, to do that. But in this case, I'm thinking a little bit of a, I'm thinking of a different strategy, and I will show you why. And the main reason is because of the current implied volatility of the SP of S, the S and P 500. So let's go over to um, our, my other trading software real quick. Um, I'm just in a, one of my other trading platforms. So we're looking at the SPY right now. The um, IVR, the implied volatility rank, is uh, 22, which means that uh, it's it's a little bit on the low side um, for implied volatility. So I actually don't want to do a short Vega or short, uh, basically short vol. Um, I want to benefit from volatility expansion. And if we look at the, the VIX currently, all right, so I'm using my artificial intelligence so charting software, uh, Pattern Finder, and this is the VIX chart. So right now we are right at the, the, the local um, uh, support line of basically 20. Um, you know, if we were to break that line lower, you know, maybe that'll happen. But I think we are due for a little bit of volatility. I don't know if that's going to happen now or um, I, I would guess right around options, the monthly op options expiration date, that might happen. Uh, we've sort of been seeing um, some pops as we come into those, some volatility pops as we come into uh, options expiration. So um, we had a little bit here on the 12th, I think last time options expiration was the 16th. So we saw a little bit of a pop there. Um, anyway, so I want to benefit from uh, some long volatility strategy. So um, I'm not going to buy an outright put. Let's go to Robinhood. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. All right. So we're in the Robinhood platform. So basically, I want to um, create a calendar spread. So calendar spread consists of selling a shorter dated option at, I'm going to pick the 365 strike and we're going to do a, a put calendar spread. So we're going to do, select the 365 strike and I'll show you sort of why, um, you know, I'd like to do the 365, why that particular strike. Um, and that is 17 Delta. Um, so then I just want to do something that, that expires about like two weeks later. Um, so we're going to buy a put at the same strike to create a calendar spread. Okay, and you can see, you know, um, stock has to move down. We're currently at 383 for us to be profitable. Um, with us up against that VWAP, I think that is, um, you know, more likely than not to happen. Um, but the thing is, if it goes too far, we begin to lose money at 350, um, which, you know, the local low um, is 348. So... I, by January 20th, will that happen? I don't know, but, um, and max profit is at, if we pin the 365 strike. So let me show you why I'm, I'm picking these strikes. Let's go over to Pattern Finder. Um, so this is Pattern Finder. Um, so I'm liking these strikes, it, you know, basically because right now we're at that, the VWAP is at 385, and right below us is some resistance at 375, and, you know, this band here, which is uh, algorithmic, algorithmically drawn, um, you know, shows right around 365 is the start of this band above. It's like 375-ish. So I think 365-ish is just like a safe downside bet. And, you know, that's, you know, uh, we're at 383. It's, um, forgive my math here, but that's like a less than 20 point, $20 move in the actual underlying stock, which 
um, you know, we've been seeing lately some pretty big uh, moves in the S&P 500. So, and, and in addition to this, we will, we will um, benefit from volatility expansion. Um, one of the benefits of a calendar option is the back, mo uh, the back month option. So in this case, the, uh, this, this option here um, is more sensitive is more Vega sensitive, meaning it is more volatility sensitive. So um, if we do have that volatility expansion, we're going to see, um, you know, this option contract will increase in value, which is good. It'll increase in value more than this short option de decreases in value. Um, so so that, that's my idea, my trade idea. Um, it's pretty, you know, pretty safe. You know, we, we lose if, if the stock uh, blows past that VWAP or if it stays exactly in place, which... I find um, unlikely. So um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Peace.